Not to be broadcast is brought to you by vibe.ng. As promised, Wizkid released two new singles on the 1st of October 2018 titled Fever and Master Groove. We must commend Wizkid for keeping his head up and still going through with these releases despite all the dragging that he experienced on social media in the past weeks. Fever has been climbing up slowly on the YouTube trending charts with almost 100k views in less than 24 hours and he has no video yet. Master Groove has also been receiving massive positive reviews and it all goes to show that regardless of all the negative press that has shrouded Wizkid lately, his fans are still rock solid in support of his art. One other thing that is also worthy of note is that Fever and Master Groove are original releases from Whiskey's engagement with Sony Music. Sometime in 2017, there were rumors that Whiskey's deal with the music giants had gone sour. Some claimed that, you know, this was due to Whiskey's lackadaisical attitude, including not turning up for shows and interviews. But Sony Music never really released any statement to this effect. What we noticed though was that after the sounds from the other side project, Whiskey didn't drop anything under the imprint of Sony Music until these new singles. Maya was released under the guise of Mute being the owner, Soccer was released under the guise of Starboy, while Fake Love was released under the guise of Duncan Mighty. Now, with this new development, it is almost safe to say that Whiskey is back in good terms with his Sony team, which indirectly means that we can now expect more and frequent music directly from him and not, you know, released through the back doors. Whiskey has announced his intentions to release his Made in Lagos and Zion albums, but we're not quite sure when and if these will come through Sony Music just yet. Starboy has had quite a phenomenal 2018 so far. It has been from one major endorsement to the other, and it can easily be concluded that he's the most endorsed Nigerian artist for this year. But from these two singles, and of course his previous releases, can we say that Wizkid is the artist of the year just yet? Personally, I think one more killer single before the year end might do the trick. But I'd like to know what you think. So let me know in the comment box. For more sizzling gist and interesting trends, kindly follow us across all our social media platforms on vibe.ng.